Thank you for joining us. I'm Adam Cooperstein. And right now, Columbia University's president is in the hot seat as concerns about discrimination on campus are the subject of a hearing on Capitol Hill. The president testifying about the school's response to a recent spike in anti-Semitic incidents, part of a growing trend nationwide. News Force, News Force Tracy Strahan joining us now in the newsroom with more on what's happening there. Tracy. Well, we've covered this a lot, Adam, as you know, and the House committee that previously heard testimony from presidents of MIT, Harvard, and UPenn is now hosting what they're calling Columbia in Crisis. That's the subject of the hearing. Now, the chairwoman of the Education Workforce Committee opened today's proceedings by saying that Columbia staff has now become the most egregious in failing to protect Jewish students. Now, the hearing began with members showing a montage of acts of hatred. You're looking at that there. and included white supremacists marching through the University of Virginia's campus. That was in 2017. Uh, today's hearing comes as the Anti-Defamation League released a report showing a surge in anti-Semitic attacks nationwide last year. 9,000 incidents, including bomb threats against synagogues and swastikas. Now, before Columbia's president took the stand before the committee, we heard from students, along with Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. They held their own news conference. They called for clear steps to be taken, all in order for them to feel safe on campus. We have been harassed with hateful slogans in the dorms, dining halls, and classrooms. All we've asked for is to be left alone, protected on campus, and able to study in peace. The university's inaction has left Jewish students abandoned. Months of silence from our leadership has conditioned us to believe that the university does not care about us and will not protect us. They collectively need to get a spine and say we're not going to tolerate um, anti-Semitism and we're not going to tolerate violence on our campuses. My name is Manoush Shafiq. Columbia's president, Manoush Shafiq, just gave her opening statement about a half hour ago. And while saying that and reiterating that hate no, has no place on the campus, she also laid out what she says the challenge is between weighing free speech rights against the safety of students. Trying to reconcile the free speech rights of those who wanted to protest and the rights of Jewish students to be in an environment free of discrimination and harassment has been the central challenge on our campus and numerous others across the country. Our actions included support for students, enhanced reporting channels for incidents, hiring additional staff to investigate complaints, developing new policies on demonstrations, holding listening forums to model respectful behaviors. Well, just yesterday, President Shafiq wrote an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal. She previewed her remarks before Congress today, but she also warned that universities and their presidents aren't politicians. Of course, we'll stay on this story as that hearing progresses. Adam. Absolutely. Tracy Strahan in the newsroom. Tracy, thank you.